Hey Joe, it's Trace Steves, operations officer with the Texas Cavaliers. I'm requesting permission to start our river parade. That is the Joe Cruz, City of San Antonio Riverwalk Operations Superintendent. The Riverwalk is yours and the Texas Cavaliers for the evening. The Texas Cavaliers were founded in 1926 on three principles. To honor, connect, and celebrate. Their uniform is instantly recognizable, and their impact undeniable. This year we'll give away about $2.5 million to 80 different charities. Tonight, it's their biggest event to continue their mission and celebrate their contributions over the past century. I love this community, I love San Antonio, and I'm honored to be the 100th team. Live from Arneson Theater on the San Antonio Riverwalk, KSAT 12 brings you the Texas Cavaliers River Parade. The 2023 Texas Cavaliers River Parade is powered by Kickapoo Lucky Eagle Casino. Good evening and welcome to the 78th annual Texas Cavaliers River Parade. It is a beautiful night here at the Arneson River Theater in downtown San Antonio, an iconic picture that represents San Antonio for so many. There is nothing quite like this parade tonight, nothing like the River Parade on a night like this. And Myra, we are so ready for the 78th River Parade here at the Artisan River Theater. We've got our light up toys, so <laughs> when it gets a little darker, we'll be ready. We've got our Coscaronis ready to go. Got to test one out, make sure it works. Oh, I'm so glad that, that it, works. I, I hate for it to be defective. We've got medals, and we have in store for you tonight a whole lot of fun. We mentioned being down here on the Riverwalk. What an mm -hmm. iconic place. This is actually beautiful. And this year's theme is Fantastic Voyages, and there's no one better than to lead us on this voyage down the river than a former astronaut, a man who walked on the moon. We're talking about Charlie Duke Jr. And he's going to be our Grand Marshal this evening to lead us down this road. And one thing about him, we're going to learn a lot about him tonight, but one thing about him, he actually took country and western music to places beyond. To outer space, right? Yeah. You got a chance to interview yeah. him. I'm looking forward to that. I mean, talk about somebody who embodies a fantastic voyage. All the floats here tonight are going to represent that theme, and they also represent so many amazing organizations all throughout our community that do so much to help us be the San Antonio that we all know and love. And we, of course, need to mention when we talk about the San Antonio we know and love, Military City USA. Military City USA. That is a huge part of who we are. And our Jonathan Cotto actually caught up with some very special men and women who have served our country bravely. And he's going to give us uh, a little sound from them, a little taste of their perspective on this river parade. Hey guys, we're here hanging at the IBC Bank Plaza with Robert Miggins, who's the chairman of the military program for the Texas Cavaliers. Robert, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, how are you tonight? Oh man, I'm having a blast. It's so much fun. Now we have live music, we have papel picado, and plenty of Whataburger to go around. Right. Talk to us a little bit about the effort in putting this military fiesta for our men and women. Yeah, absolutely. So the, the purpose of this event is to give back to our military uh, men and women and service families from all five branches of the military. Uh, the Texas Cavaliers have been doing this for 20 years. So this is our 20th year, uh, always here at the IBC Bank Plaza. Um, Plaza. And um, we have generous sponsors like Whataburger and Blue Bell Ice Cream that bring food and desserts to feed everybody. Uh, we have other sponsors that, you know, just write a check and contribute. Uh, and the whole purpose is just to uh, say thank you to our military service families and uh, provide a place for them to enjoy the river parade free of charge. They bring their families, they can come sit, and uh, it's just a great night. Robert, thank you so much. As you, you heard it there, folks, it's important information. This event is absolutely free to men and women in uniform and also veterans. So make sure to head out here to this military fiesta at the IBC Bank Plaza. Back to you. Thanks. That was our Jonathan Cotto, who is a veteran himself. Yes. And we are thankful for his service, as well as everyone who represents all the wonderful branches of the military out here with us tonight. Very exciting night. We're going to be uh, watching these floats go down the river tonight. And the thing about this is this is the second year that a production company out of New Orleans has come in and helped the Cavaliers 
build up these floats. Yeah. And we're going to see some exciting things tonight. I mean, there's there's flashes of light. There's some smoke. There's some cannons going off tonight. They helped these floats kind of level yeah. up, right, when it comes to the production value. Somebody who's, uh, you know, always a level up out there <laughs> is our very own Adam Kasky. He is out somewhere in the crowd. And, of oh, course, he's dancing. There and we he go. is Can't armed with fiesta. medals and more. you got to shake your hips a, hip. a little, you know? <laughs> that time here. I've got some first time fiesta goers here. Come on ladies from UT. Say hi to everybody. You know, we are military city. I also like to say we're hospitality city. So what do you think of your first fiesta so far? Um, I've never seen just a whole city come together like this. So this is really cool and it's really fun. Welcome to San Antonio and you're a little too clean right now. <laughs> no! That's why we have the holster. Here you go. You got all kidding to share with each other, share amongst yourself, cascarone each other. We, it, it is a, it, it's a, it's a verb now to be cascaroned. There you go. Have at it. Amongst yourselves. <laughs> hey, have you ever actually worn long sleeves to a Fiesta event until today? Uh, the consensus from the crowd is no. This is fabulous. We've got the clouds. We've got beautiful weather. I know some of the uh, some of the Cavaliers were worrying earlier. Well, it's cloudy. Don't worry. We're good. We're good to go. A-OK -okay. in the clear. Tomorrow morning, it's going to be a little damp. But that's tomorrow morning. Let's party right now. Myra and David. Ooh, party. Yes. Adam Kasky knows how to get it started. Thank you, Adam. We've got somebody else who really we, we want to take a minute to highlight here because this person, as David, you mentioned earlier, represents fantastic voyages in a way that's out of this world? Out of the, yeah. He, he's been out of <laughs> Cliche, this world. Cliche, but true. But very true. He is one of only 12 men to ever walk on the moon. He did it at the youngest age of any of them, at 36 years old. He is only one of six that are still alive, and this man is living to the hilt. He's had movies made about him. He's had songs written about him. And we were able to catch up with him at his home in New Braunfels to talk a little bit about walking on the moon and all the other stuff that goes along with that fame fortune. I was out of college and in flight training wow. uh, in the Air Force when the first astronauts were picked. So I didn't think about, I think about space, but I thought about flying a lot. I grew up in South Carolina, a small town, and, and that was the beginning of the space age. Right after Apollo 11, I got named to the backup crew on Apollo 13. We trained till they launched, and then they changed the lunar module to an extended stay, if you will, and they gave you a car. You could stay three days instead of one day. What was it like when, when you knew you were going to get the opportunity to do the same thing? You were going to get to land on the moon and, and, and get Well, I was shouting it from the rooftops, really. Uh, my dad, till the day he died, he still shook his head that his son made it to the moon. Is this you? Uh, yeah, that's me. John got out first, then I got out, and uh, then we deployed the car. You can see the car just behind the flag behind, over there. Oh, wow. Then I put up the flag. Oh, and you that, got to do that? Yeah. And oh, that then, had to be special, huh? It was, yeah. I, I had the camera, uh, so I said, come on out and give me a big salute, John. And I saluted, wow. and I said, wow, big Navy salute, off the moon. Three days on the moon is really a, a exciting adventure. And uh, and you just can't, even now, 51 years, almost 51 years later, I almost remember every step. You were probably the first astronaut to ever take country and western music to the to space. You introduced the aliens to, to the new kind of music. Each of us had two hours we could take, whatever kind of music you wanted. So I took country music and it uh, was uh, really fun, but everybody loved this because it was two hours of, of these artists doing a special program for us. Hello, Charlie, this is Porter Wagner and Dolly Parton and we're glad you're taking us along to the moon. And they did a whole whole 30 minutes just for us. And Buck Owens did the same, Merle Haggard did the same, and then Chet Atkins and Jerry Reed finished it all. For those who, who may not remember, those were on cassette players. That's right, yeah. Colonel Duke, Captain Young, and Commander Mattingly, this is the biggest show of the Wagon Masters and Miss Dolly and my of our entire lives. The longest distance from home of any show that we have ever played, 
and the smallest crowd that we have ever played for, but the most important audience in the world and outer space. Now you're a grand marshal of a San Antonio Cavaliers River Parade, so. Right. Yes. Uh, and I'm excited about that, so looking forward to it. I told my friends, I said, y'all come and watch, I'll throw you some candy or something like that. <laughs> you're gonna have candy on board, Greg. <laughs> now you are. <laughs> Now you've done a lot of things in your in your life and in your career. You've walked on the moon, you've flown in spaceships, you've done a, a whole lot since you've been out. So where do you think this might rank as far as one of the highlights of your of your life? I just love San Antonio, and uh, it's uh, being part of this uh, event is uh, very very special. What an incredible life and an incredible list of achievements. You know, I told you earlier that as I've grown in this business and done a lot of interviews, I've become less and less awed of certain people. <laughs> I was in awe of this man. How could there you talking not to, be? I, it, it was the stories he was telling. He got talking about Apollo 13, the movie, mm -hmm. and how after that movie was made, he was the backup crew for Apollo 13. Oh. He was actually one of the guys that got into that lunar module to help them rearrange everything and make sure that they could get back to Earth safe. He was one of those guys that did that. And, and he's was, the guy who put the American flag on the moon. Planted it. Wow. What Amazing. It, that is, had to be such an incredible moment and one obviously he should be super proud of. And I'm so glad that he's here with sit us today. Talk to him for hours. Yeah, and you know me. He got yeah. a personal show with uh, Porter Wagner and Dolly Parton <laughs> in space. In space. I that love that. That ranks pretty high. Smallest audience we ever played, but probably the but most important. Most important. <laughs> Another incredible, important group that we want to give you a glimpse of. They've actually already gone down the river here. So this is a little bit video from earlier. The Military 4th Reconnaissance Battalion. They've represented the United States and the city of San Antonio with exceptional capabilities in all aspects of military operations. Matter of fact, the battalion and two companies are stationed here in San Antonio. They have fought in every major U.S. campaign since World War II and they continue to serve around the globe today. Once again, we salute them and we appreciate their service. Absolutely. We're gonna take a quick break as we gear up for the rest of this parade to get underway. You're watching the 78th Texas Cavaliers River Parade. Stick with us, we'll be right back. The 2023 Texas Cavaliers River Parade is powered by Kickapoo Lucky Eagle Casino. Welcome back to the beautiful Anderson River Theater in downtown San Antonio. I just want to take a second to uh, view the crowd. The place is now pretty packed. Almost every seat in the Arneson River Theater is now taken. So I think we're going to be up on the big screen. If y'all can hear me, Myra and I are up here. I want everybody to turn around behind you and wave. Look back up here, up here, up here, up high where you came in. Everybody look up here and wave. Say hello, San Antonio! <laughs> we got a great crowd out Woo! here tonight. Plenty more people filling up these seats that you see here. It is a beautiful night to be on the San Antonio Riverwalk. I have never used a cool breeze and Ooh. river parade in the same sentence, but I think we will tonight. It's turned out to be fantastic. I remember a couple years ago, we uh, were just, just put it by, we were sweating. We did it in June, and we I think sweating. we should not do that yeah. again. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that Our clothes was pretty changed rough on colors <laughs> about three times. We had to take three showers when we got home just to get all the sweat off. It was, yeah. it was, but it was fun. It was the Cavaliers River Parade, so you can't be beaten there. Nope. Nope, not at all. So. All right, so let's talk about the purpose of all of us being here, right? This is is a party with a purpose in San Antonio over these 10, 10 days or so. And all of these events really benefit organizations that do so much for our community. And there is a charitable honoree that is really being recognized and highlighted by the Texas Cavaliers tonight. That organization is Rise Recovery. They help so many teens and young people break the stigma with substance abuse and really get into their recovery and the resources they have the campus they have, it's incredible what they provide. Take a look. Rise Recovery with the Cavaliers funding is going to be able to bring our kids to places that they've never been. We are serving more people than we've ever served. We're staying open later than we've ever been. We are working so hard and more than anything need that, that support. Rise Recovery is a nonprofit in town that's been here for about 45 years. 
We provide youth and young adults and their families recovery support uh, for drug and alcohol issues. The Cavaliers are leading the way in demonstrating that our kids are not forgotten, that this next generation is taken care of, and that resources like ours can continue to thrive. And it's not just a disciplinary issue, it's a mental health issue, it's a wellness issue, and it deserves that kind of attention and treatment. So working with schools has been uh, a wonderful opportunity for Eyes Recovery to expand that message to over 10,000 kids in this last year. Thank you. Thank you so, so much. I believe that the greatest voyage a person can take is a voyage of recovery. This is such a pivotal moment for Rise Recovery, thanks to the Cavaliers and being chosen as their uh, honoree for this year. This has been a growth year for Rise Recovery. We just opened our brand new two acre campus. We are able to serve more and more students through our Rise Inspire Academy, San Antonio's first and only recovery high school. This campus was very important to Rise Recovery because it provided, and really for our recovery community, it provided a bright light, a beacon of light for kids and families who struggle with the stigma of drugs and alcohol, who, who are afraid to tell their, their parents, partners, loved ones that there's an issue um, and don't know where to go. So we now that we have our own space, we are loud and proud about the opportunity to serve our kids who are experiencing drug and alcohol issues. Uh, we are not afraid to address it. We're not going to hide in the shadows. We're going to share our stories so that we can help change their stories. When I talk to family members of kids who have struggled with drugs and alcohol and they get the help that they get from Rise Recovery, they have told me things like, you saved my marriage, you saved my relationship with my child, you saved my relationship with myself, I wasn't taking care of myself. And so a lot of times it's that recovery of the family unit that's happening here at Rise Recovery. And we are gonna show the Cavaliers that because of their support, we're able to save lives. What an incredible organization. Yes, they do tremendous work. And Evita Maureen, you know, she has spent a lot of time with us at KSAT doing interviews, talking about the need for substance abuse recovery. And I was floored when I learned that they have a substance abuse recovery, a high school that is completely focused on that mission and, of course, education. And it's incredible what they are able to do for this community. And, and inside Rise Recovery's new facility, I've actually had a chance to go there. It's beautiful. It's providing tremendous services. There's actually a study area that's ded dedicated to the Texas Cavaliers. And we heard from a young lady just a few minutes ago with Adam Caskey talking about how she felt like the community comes together for this parade. This is just another reason why San Antonio is such a wonderful place to live because another example of how this community has come together to help the Cavaliers raise money for some 80 different charities. That's how many they support here in our community and a lot of it is helping kids in this community and this is just another one of those great examples of them. Yeah, the Cavaliers Foundation that was set up in 1989. Since then they have raised more than 13 million dollars for participating charities and the focus is children's charities for this organization. We're going to highlight several of those here tonight but that's one thing I think that we cannot talk about enough when we cover Fiesta events and bring them to you. Uh, talk about how this is a party with a purpose. This is why San Antonio does this. The money raised throughout all of these fun activities benefits so many incredibly important and critical organizations and services that we are lucky to have here in our city. We are just moments away from seeing our first decorated float. There's some drums, there's some music coming, but before like that, before we're going to take a break. <laughs> we'll be right back. The anticipation is growing and growing and growing. You are listening to Zenshin Daiko. They are teaching the art of taiko, Japanese drumming, to children. How incredible is this? See, these kids are more than just beating on drums. They do it with, you know, some rhythm and some purpose. A lot of kids just, you know, but they actually teach them how to do this. It like truly this. looks like an art form, what they're doing. It is. Zinchin Daiko has performed in over a thousand cultural and community events all around the world. And they performed in San Antonio in the past at the invitation of the Will Smith Foundation. This is a great way to teach your kids some discipline instead of just letting them go wild with the drums. <laughs> in the house because i'm sure you know your, your your kids just probably so much cultural significance of course to 
this, what they're doing to this practice, to this art form. And I just think it's incredible the, the talent of these kids. Yeah. I don't, in the River Parade. I, I cannot recall having seen them before. Our producer just told us that, yes, this is the first time Zinchin Daiko has been part of the Texas Cavaliers River Parade. And what a way to kick it off. One of the things that we do year in and year out is we show you the program for every year's. Which is around here somewhere. Texas Cavaliers River Parade. Of course, the theme was Fantastic Voyages. Yes. This is the program, and I want you to take a look at this program because it's got the theme all over the program. There are floating balloons. Mm -hmm. There's an airplane. There's a rocket ship taken off. There's a sailboat. I guess that's more than a sailboat. That's like, you know, one of those old... A ship? There a is ship. a voyage for everyone yeah. on the front of this cover. And we have to tell you the significance of this. Every year, the Cavaliers host an art contest. And there are finalists chosen from art programs in public schools across every city council district. And there's a winner. There's always a grand prize winner, right? And we got always. a chance to interview this young, talented artist. And who won? We'll take a look at this. Y'all ready? Fiona Odell. Fiona is a fifth grader from Bull Verde Creek Elementary. And our art teacher is Lila. You got to it. I just came up with it piece by piece. Piece by colorful piece, this work of art took Fiona Odell three and a half weeks to create. I got the water and the train. And the Tower of the Americas, the Alamo, hot air balloons, a ship, all symbols of a fantastic voyage. Everybody in life goes through a journey, right? It's either in your mind or, or travel somewhere or do certain things. Young artists from schools across the city submit their works of art for this contest. The finalists in each district get $3,000 to help their school's art program. And Fiona earned Bulverde Creek Elementary the grand prize of $5,000. And everywhere we've ever traveled, art teachers are, are, are struggling. They're buying uh, art supplies out of their own pockets because the districts can't fund them. And so this is a way for us to shore that up and to create fruitful uh, art programs. Oh, and we should mention the other prize that Fiona is really excited about. The Whataburger yeah. and the scholarship. Whataburger for a year for Fiona. And she plays Plans to order the Dr. Pepper shake. <laughs> a shake after a wave down the river on a float in this year's parade. I mean, we all get it, Fiona. The Dr. Pepper shake is where it's at. Not to mention the scholarship oh. money and the money that goes to so many of these art uh, programs in public schools all across our area. Whataburger for a year? Whataburger for a year. How about that? And she also, like she, the scholarship to, is a two-way summer art studio at the Southwest School of Art. We are going to be back in just a minute. We still are going to have to hear from... You know why I, I, I like this particular person who's going to be speaking in a minute? Why? I'm not going to tell you why just yet. Oh, that be was a tease, David Because Sears. it's the 100th. It's the 100th King Antonio, right? Guess what? So what? You know what that means? He, he is the 100th. He's got on a baby blue jacket, some yeah. red pants. You only need one Roman numeral. <laughs> We'll hear from on the other a side. A C of is all you need. You don't have to go through your whole Roman numeral catalog to figure it out. I'm YN1 Andrea Parker from Lano, Texas. I'm Petty Officer in the Second Class, Rafael Omar Gomez Negron from San Juan, Puerto Rico. We're currently stationed at U.S. Cryptologic Unit, Texas, here in San Antonio. We are the 2023 PSA Ambassador for the United States Coast Guard, and we are so honored to represent the military in the Joint Base in Antonio, Texas. Military City, USA. Viva Fiesta! 
And welcome back to the beautiful Artisan River Theater, downtown San Antonio for the Texas Cavaliers River Parade. We are awaiting the arrival of King Antonio, the 100th Clyde Johnson. In the meantime, we have Adam Kasky out among the crowd, of course, getting the party started as he knows how to do so very well. Where are you, Adam? Oh, he's coming. Adam. Oh, we see him. We see him. Ooh. I spotted him. I spotted him. He's coming around the bend there. The, the king? Yeah, the king. I spotted him. I spotted the king. And we got all the Cavaliers on the bridge ready to greet him. Now, now tell me your official title here as you greet King Antonio. Tell so we're the former title. King Antonios. Former King Antonios. And tell we're me here to greet King Antonio C, which is the 100th king of the Texas Cavaliers. <laughs> And tell oh. me about the whole uh, ceremony. What, what, what's behind it? Well, so what we're getting ready to do is we're getting ready to uh, get him. Uh, Clyde Johnson mm -hmm. the fourth is going to be uh, indoctrinated into King Antonio in front of the Arson Theater and the 100th King of Texas Cavaliers. And ready to party tonight, right? Let's go. All right, Cavaliers, help me out here. When I say Viva, you say Fiesta. All right. All right. Viva! Fiesta! Viva! Fiesta! Viva! Viva! Yeah, it's a good rowdy bunch. I love it. Back to you. <laughs> All right, Adam, thank you so much. You know, Sears and I learned earlier today about so many of those former King Antonios lining that bridge. They'll have their sabers out, lifted high, raised as King Antonio the 100th. All former, that bridge. all former kings, right? All former kings. All former kings. Mm -hmm. We're not sure exactly the number of former kings. <laughs> That's the question we had. We didn't quite <laughs> we get quite, the answer to we, that We one. didn't know what the, the specific answer was. But just uh, let's give you a little bit about Clyde Johnson. He has served the Texas Cavaliers, the River Parade Marshal, for a magnificent mission back in 2018. He was commander of the organization in 2022. Three terms on the Texas Cavaliers Charitable Foundation Board of Trustees. He's also served as a member of the board for the Fiesta Commission. He will have the honor of presenting more than $2 million to area children's charities. The Texas Cavaliers Charitable Foundation has distributed more than $12 million over the years. They, they do so many things all throughout the year. Visit schools, military bases, hospitals, nursing homes, a lot of different nonprofit organizations. There's so much more that this group does outside of just tonight, outside of this beautiful river parade, but it certainly all culminates with this party out here this evening. And he's also talked about how important and special it is for him to be the 100th King Antonio in the history of the Texas Cavaliers. So that, that's a pretty special moment. He's sharing the opportunity. He's got his wife with him, Kim. There are three children, Bennett, Sheldon, and Ellie. And here they are. We'll just kind of watch as he gets off the march, heads over to... break and bring that to you on the other side. Stay with us. Welcome back to the Texas Cavaliers River Parade. This crowd is on their feet because King Antonio, the 100th, has arrived here at the Arneson River Theater. He just made his way in that iconic barge that we see every year underneath the bridge here at the theater. He is now on the stage with so many of his aides, their wives, their families. He's about to really kick this thing off officially by taking that podium and giving a speech as every King Antonio does. But first, some rock and roll and some smoke, y'all. You can see that the crowd is all standing. They've risen to their feet at his arrival to ACDZ Thunderstruck. King Antonio, the 100th.
speech every year. We hear about so many of the, the things that the Texas Cavaliers do throughout the year to make this a night of successful fundraising that really benefits all of these children's charities that we're going to talk about here this evening. So we expect to hear that from King Antonio, the 100th, as he pulls his saber and gets the crowd going even more here tonight. He is eating this up, isn't he? Yes. He is loving every second of this. And you can't blame him. I mean, how often do you get to be a king? Especially of the Cavaliers. And there he is with Charlie All right. Duke. Of tonight's parade, the man who walked on the moon, who truly represents a fantastic voyage, which is the theme of this parade here tonight. Charlie Duke, along with his wife. Has several kids who live in South Carolina. Spent a lot of time out there. And Charlie lived in New Braunfels and for a time. He lived in New Braunfels for a time. All right, let's just listen to the speech from. Right. Right. Thank you and Viva Fiesta! <laughs> Welcome to the 78th Annual Texas Annual River Parade. Texas Cavaliers Annual River Parade. So glad of y'all to be here. I'm Clyde Johnson, King Antonio 100. And on behalf of the Texas Cavaliers, I personally thank each of you for your attendance, and thank you for the thousands tuning in to KSAT 12. We appreciate y'all. Tonight promises to be a beautiful night. For the festivities, let me introduce my castle up here with stage on me. With me, first and foremost, Kim Johnson, my wife. So on a personal note, she's been instrumental in this whole deal. It looks like I'm the guy up here, but she's really the one. So thank you very much, Kim, for everything you've done. To my son, Bennett, to my daughter, Shelton, and my daughter, Elle, thank you all for everything. I love you. Also joining me is the commander of the Texas Cavaliers, Scott Christie, and his beautiful wife, Emily. Managing the King's schedule is a huge job, as you might imagine. So I would want to recognize my day aide right now, Chris Petty and his lovely wife, Emily. It's the hardest working man in show business right there, I'll tell you that. The next one that I'll introduce is my executive aide, as we call him on the road, Mead Fireball Flavin, and his lovely wife, Jolie. Thank you for all your support. And last but not least, I want to say to my good friend, McCann Northington, who makes sure I get plenty of sleep at night, and his lovely wife, Margie. Margie, thank y'all very much. All these are my true good friends, and all of you are my great friends as well. I just want to say thank you, and it's an honor to be in this role and to be in this position. It truly is. It's humbling, a humbling experience, and thank you all. The Texas Cavaliers are proud to carry on our River Parade tradition, which has taken place continuously since 1941 with a short hiatus during World War II and of course the pandemic. Tonight actually marks the 78th River Parade and the 78th time King Antonio has led the River Parade down our historic river walk. We're humbled and extremely proud of the success of the River Parade, river parade in the Texas Cavaliers Charitable Foundation. Together, we have raised more than $3.5 million to give away to children's charities. <laughs> Greg C., thank you for all the work that you've done here on the river. We appreciate it. This year, we're benefiting 63 
carefully vetted organizations that clothe, feed, educate, nurture, and shelter San Antonio's children. The generosity of many of our community partners and donors helps bring happiness and hope to many San Antonio area families and children. Once more, one of the most inspiring leaders in our community has come alongside the Texas Cavaliers in our effort, Susan Naylor. Without her generous involvement, we would not be able to help all the important organizations that depend on our funding. Susan, thank you very much. You're a wonderful friend. I appreciate it. Now I'd like to introduce the man who envisioned and planned and worked tirelessly to execute this year's River Parade, Fantastic Voyages. Please join me in a round of applause for my good friend, Greg C., the 2023 River Parade Marshal. The highest honor that King Antonio has is to give away you a red You have been plume. listening to King Antonio, like the 100th, like Clyde Johnson, who is getting part of the ceremony underway here tonight. We're going to take a quick break because after this, that's when the fun really starts. That's when the floats start rolling down the river. We'll bring it to you right after the break. Hey folks, welcome back. We're hanging out here at the IBC Bank Plaza, enjoying the sight and sound of Fiesta. Now, San Antonio's Military City USA, and it wouldn't be Fiesta without a military fiesta. And I'm here joined by Angelica, who's active duty United States Navy. She is here with her family. As you can see, they are extremely excited. Angelica, talk to us a little bit about your attendance here tonight. Um, well, actually, it was uh, free for us, which we're kind of excited. It's our first year here. Um, we've never done Fiesta. It's a lot bigger than we thought it was going to be. Um, so we're kind of just going to figure out what to do and watch the parades. And my kids have been bouncing off the walls since they found out we got to go. So Now, Angelica, you know, San Antonio's Military City USA, this is a, a joint effort between IBC Bank, the Texas Cavaliers, as well as HEB and other sponsors. And it's a totally free event. How cool is that for you and your family to be able to partake in something of this magnitude and absolutely free? Um, it's actually pretty cool for us because, I mean, two kids, so when we get to do things, usually we try to find the free stuff because they're pretty expensive. And uh, they were surprised because I actually looked up how much this would cost if we actually bought it. And we were like, wow, we never would have went if it was not free for us. Oh, I hear you. I hear you. Now, talk to me. Before we go, talk to me a little bit about what you do in the Navy. Um, I'm a CTR. I'm a cryptologist. Um, pretty much just sitting in office all day. It's not as exciting as everyone thinks. Oh, no, I'm sure it is. How many years have you served? Um, it'll be 12 in July. 12 years. Congratulations, Angelica. Thank you so much for your service. Folks, we're going to continue to enjoy the sights and sounds of Fiesta, military Fiesta, here at the IBC Bank Plaza. Even if Angelica sits in an office all day, we are thankful for what she does. Take a look at this. Charlie Duke, he is the Grand Marshal of tonight on the stage. Let's listen in. Thanks a lot. Well, what an event. What an event. Thanks, Greg. I want to start by thanking you for having me here today. What a great honor for me to be named this year's Grand Marshal. Talking to the microphone. Yeah, my wife, uh, Dottie, is here. I want to introduce her. Uh, ne next uh, June, uh, we're going to be married so many years, I can't even remember how many. <laughs> so uh, anyway, it's a great pleasure to be here. When I left NASA, in 1976, my wife and I moved to New Braunfels, and for 45 years, we have had deep roots here in San Antonio, so it's really an honor for me to be part of this fiesta. What an honor uh, for me. I was introduced, I still am introduced as the youngest guy that walked on the moon. Yeah, and, and uh, NASA's made a big deal of that. Well, I was 36, 36 when I landed on the moon. I'm 
I'm 87 and I'm still the youngest guy to walk on the moon. The Texas Cavaliers do a tremendous job of supporting the community and especially kids in the community, which is dear to my heart. Congratulations on all of the hard work you've put into this river, year's river parade and all of the funds you've raised to help support local nonprofits. Thanks again for this opportunity and I want to thank all of you for coming to support this all of my friends and family, and uh, it is a tremendous opportunity uh, to ride in the river parade as Grand Marshal. Viva Fiesta! Thank you. Once, once again, the Grand Marshal of the Texas Cavaliers you, River Parade, Charlie it. Duke. Well, you can tell right there what kind of character he is just by the, the few comments he made on the stage right there. A couple of unusual things about him. He was actually a graduate of the Naval Academy and went into the Air Force and flew for the Air Force. Most of the astronauts came right out of the Navy. Mm -hmm. So it was kind of unusual for him to come out of the Air Force and become an astronaut. He's got a master's from MIT and he is a retired Brigadier General. I love that he said I was the youngest man to walk on the moon and I'm still the youngest man to walk really on is. the moon. 87. Unbelievable. Love his accomplishments, and we're happy yep. that he is representing so much here this evening when it comes to fantastic voyages. We're going to take a quick break. The floats are coming down the river. We see him round the bend after this. And now, a Did You Know Fiesta moment. Did you know, in 1971, King Antonio the 49th, Charles Orsinger, handed out what is now considered to be the first official Fiesta medal. Before that, only Fiesta royalty wore medals. Welcome back to the River Parade, the Texas Cavaliers River Parade. Coming out of the bridge here tonight, our Grand Marshal of this evening, Charlie Duke, the youngest man to walk on the moon, who certainly represents the theme here this evening of fantastic voyages. That was pretty cool how they like had that. the astronaut go down under the bridge and then stand back up afterwards. Kind of like blast it off. <laughs> and David, you mentioned this earlier. We have a production company out of New Orleans that does so many of the Mardi Gras parades there that has helped out the tech Texas Cavaliers and the organizations that are part of this parade really take the production value of these floats to the next level. So I can't wait to see what else we yeah, find you can, tonight. You can see they're taking that one to the next level right there. I think they do 10 parades a year and their main focus is, is all the Mardi Gras parades. And uh, they have really helped out the Texas Cavaliers. They really have taken this, as you said, to a whole new level. Just, just look at the astronaut right there. And of course, Charlie Duke himself. Charlie Duke, and then the young lady in the striped shirt there, that is our art contest winner, Fiona O'Dell. She is the one who won the art contest. Her artwork is on the front cover of the program here this evening, and it's all about representing fantastic voyages, and she really did that in so many ways, and won a scholarship and some money for her school's art program. Awesome. One of the things we were talking to, to Charlie about when we were uh, up in New Bond, uh, visiting with him, he was talking talking about the movie Apollo 13, and they had a showing for the astronauts. The production company had a showing for the astronauts and put this movie together, and he said that all the actors were very nervous. I bet they were. <laughs> about I bet they were. Right. And he said, yes, they threw a little Hollywood in there. I don't know if you saw Apollo 13 or not, but they were looking at the, the gauges, and there was the meter that went down into the red. He said that really wasn't, wasn't there. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right, this is our next float up here tonight. This float represents the charitable honoree of the Texas Cavaliers this year, Rise Recovery, an organization that helps teens, young adults, and families with substance abuse recovery. They're in the White Wings. The head of this organization, who we heard from earlier, Avita Maureen, they do so much in San Antonio. They have a beautiful new campus that offers a safe space for teens going through recovery a place that really provides them a sense of community through that journey. And their theme tonight is Voyage into the Future. 
a safe space, and they also offer education for these kids. So they don't have to worry about anything outside. They can get inside and they can get that education that's so needed these days. Ooh, we've got some jewels here. There you go. Now we're sparkling. This is Visit San Antonio. Visit San Antonio here. Their theme tonight is Voyage Across Texas. And on this float, the reason for all the sparkles, 2023 Riverwalk Royalty. If the king and queen determined by who raises the most money, of course. King Izzy Herrera, Queen Natasha Gonzalez and their royal court. They serve as ambassadors to promote the, and represent the crown jewel, the beautiful San Antonio Riverwalk. And they look got, at the crowd just yeah, right here. They got some crown jewels there with them tonight. There we go. And some moves. We're going to go back out to the one and only Adam Kasky, who was out somewhere among this crowd. Adam, I just have to say, it feels incredible out here tonight. Can you believe this? Oh, baby, look at this crowd. Look at the excitement here. This is so good. Look at the excitement. Just, you're all on TV now. remember this much energy at a river parade until today. And I think maybe the fact that we're all sitting here comfortably and not sweating through all of our clothing. Come on down the line! Woo! Viva Fiesta! Get him, get him, get him. You gotta give it up to the good crowd. That you, you just feed off their energy. That's what I love about this. It's getting darker, the lights are coming on, and the kids are so excited. <laughs> you can use that where you'd like. Hey, Casky. You can use that wherever you'd like. Back to you guys. Here's another. He has a cascarone holster made out of koozies. So we're going to have to see how his ammo holds out through the evening. The float you're watching right now, Military Fiesta Ambassadors, and their theme is? The military. military. Perfect. 2023 Fiesta Ambassadors represents six military service branches and promotes the military's commitment to and relationship with the local communities. They want to foster that positive relationship with those communities, and I think we have that here in San Antonio because we are known as Military City USA. Of course, out there in Fort Sam Houston, it is U.S. Army North. They are responsible for the land defense of North America as well as for leading the Department of Defense support in national emergencies throughout the region, including, including most recently the COVID-19 pandemic. They also head out to hurricanes and wildfires wherever they're needed across the state and across the country. And they on the float there. here tonight, this group right here, the 323rd U.S. Army Band, Fort Sam's own. Let's take a listen. Those guys not only stand guard, but they can entertain, sing, they play can rock. They can rock as well. There you go. They always put on a good show on these floats every single year. Next up, U.S. Air Force Personnel Center, Joint Base San Antonio Randolph. Their theme is Voyage to a New Age. Of course, the Air Force's Personnel Center headquartered right there at Joint Base San Antonio Randolph. 
2,200 military members. They also have civilians. They also have contractors that are responsible for the talent management and care solutions. 2.3 million force. And this is actually their 60th anniversary. They just celebrated that at the beginning of this month. We got to see this band on SA Live just a few days ago as they got ready to perform tonight. It's the USAF Band of the West called Top Flights. Holding the mic with one hand, playing the keyboard with the other. How about that plane that was on there? A little biplane? That was pretty cool. Right gun. All right, coming under the bridge right now, we have our next float here this evening. And they represent the children of the Republic of Texas. Did you know, Myra, that the Alamo Mission Chapter of the Children of the Republic of Texas was the very first one to exist? May 11, 1934, it was chartered at the Alamo. I like their theme. Voyage to the Lake. Gone fishing. There you go. Oh, that's big catfish. Ooh. They provide official citywide ceremonies on the Alamo grounds. This organization, including the March 2nd Texas Independence Day celebration, and of course the solemn service on March 6th to commemorate Alamo Heroes Day. Their band, the young man you're hearing from there, Noah Curtis Nilsson. Out of here. How about it for Mr. Noah Curtis Nilsson here on the guitar? And this artist is going to take us to our next commercial break. And we've got plenty more River Parade coming your way. Welcome back to the Texas Cavaliers River Parade. You are looking live from our barge camp. We know the Cavaliers have taken the parade up a notch. We've taken our coverage up a notch. That is a camera on a barge. It's not exactly sure exactly where it is, but you can see a hand wave. You can see the crowd just enjoying. Yeah, in, in the top of the, your camera view there, you can barely make out the Tower of the Americas as it rolls by. So this is a way for us to give you a view outside of just the Arneson River Theater, where so many of the main festivities are. But we have thousands of people lining this river start to finish to check out this parade tonight. We will be checking in with that camera periodically throughout the evening, bringing you some different angles. As we speak, the U.S. Army North Barge is coming right through the Alamo Arneson River Theater. And on that barge, the U.S. Army Fife and Drum Corps. U.S. Army North and U.S. Army South, the two Army commands, they're responsible for the land defense of the entire Western Hemisphere, as well as for leading the Department of Defense's support in national emergencies throughout the region. Army units on Fort Sam also include Installation Management Command, the headquarters that are responsible for day-to-day -day operations of Army installations worldwide, and Mission and Installation Contracting. They do so much and are a huge part of the city. United States Sea Services theme voyage on the wind. You can see this is full of Navy men and women and our own Jonathan Coto, of course, a member of the U.S. Navy, just interviews another young lady, a member of the U.S. Navy as well. Navy very popular here in San Antonio. Of course, their mission to recruit, train, equip, organize, deliver combat-ready naval forces to win conflicts and wars while maintaining security and deterrence. Of course, we're also talking about the U.S. Coast Guard as well, and of course, to ensure our nation's maritime safety, security, and stewardship. <laughs> and, and also, uh, they know how to party. Yeah, they do. 
can you go without doing YMCA and be in the Navy? No. And can you go without not singing in the Navy? <laughs> Coming up under the bridge in front of the stage here at the Arneson River Theater, the San Antonio Hispanic Chamber of Commerce. Did you know they are the first Hispanic Chamber of Commerce in the entire country? They've been around for nearly a hundred years. And their goal is protecting small business economic development, working on international trade, providing leadership development programs and educations, obviously a resource for business throughout the city. And the band is the Mariachi Campanas de America. <laughs> Now's the fun part. The sun's gone down. We've got all the lights going. I was going to say this is this is pretty spectacular when you uh, if you're in here in the in the theater, even looking at it from home, you can tell all the lights going. They've got the lights up on the walls, on the floats. They've got them all in the crowd, and all the kids have the uh, light sabers. I like to go with lightsabers. Yeah, lightsabers. I saw on that float the Bear County District Attorney Joe Gonzalez. He was aboard there. I think Adam Kasky is right. I think the fact that we're not bogged down by the heat and the humidity, it's up to the energy level for people tonight. I mean, people are wearing jackets yeah. during and Fiesta. Look at the energy, not just here in the Arneson River Theater, but look at the energy all up and down the river. Once again, this is our barge camp, and we are actually on a barge. We are on board, and we are floating up and down the river with one of the barges, and we're taking pictures of all the crowd that have lined the river and by the time we're done counting all the number of people, it's going to be probably around a couple hundred thousand or so. A lot of smiling faces, and that is the main mission of this whole event. That's pretty cool, isn't it? It is neat. All right, up next, the Fiesta Children. And you might have heard the announcer there on the stage say, hey, Marina. Well, Marina is the Go Rio mascot. The and San Antonio Go River Cruises, did you know? Go Rio is? They represent San Antonio River okay. Cruises. That's a cute little whatever. It is. What is that thing? What is that critter on the, on the mug? It's Marina. I believe she is a turtle. Is she a turtle? Moving fast for a turtle. I know a turtle could dance like that. I thought a lot a of cute were kids slow. on that floor. Not this one. Not Marina. <laughs> Not David. Marina. Children, a big part yeah. of the Texas Cavaliers mission. A lot of those kids right there are representing a collection of all the local nonprofits, civic organizations, and our military. So well represented on that float. And they're having a lot of fun. Oh, yeah, see? You enjoy Fiesta, and then maybe next year you go to Mardi Gras after you've, like, let it all out here at Fiesta. You know what I'm enjoying? I'm enjoying their costumes. Pretty sweet. This is Rex, the School of Design, and, yeah, you guessed it, Voyage to Mardi Gras. Show how Texas does it. Show how Texas does it. So here is the Mardi Gras connection. Rex is New Orleans king of carnival. Rex was founded in 1872. Its traditions really define Mardi Gras. And we have that link with New Orleans with this production crew that has helped the River Parade tonight. And you can tell that they put just as much into our River Parade as they do for Mardi Gras. So they come in here with a, with a purpose, and that's just lifting this thing up a little bit and it has become a whole lot more exciting just to see what they've come up with next. Oh, 
That's a pretty cool view of all the lights. Everybody having fun. And the next barge coming underneath the bridge. I always think that's so cool. It's a little bit of anticipation right before they get underneath the bridge, right before we know who they are. And a lot of people probably know who this guy is. This is Bear County Judge Peter Sakai. County Judge and Commissioners are Judge Peter Sakai and Commissioners Rebecca Clay Torres. A lot of our elected leaders representing Bear County are aboard that flight, and I like their theme. It is straight to the point. Their theme is Fiesta. Big thank you to Kelly Griffin and Claremont. Man, so all too often, politicians and representatives don't get enough thank yous and or credit. Don't let them leave this place without a little noise from you. That barge making its way past the Arneson River Theater stage. We're going to take a quick break before the next barge comes through. But first, we're going to give you a view from our barge camp as it makes its way down the river. So you can see the many hundreds, hundreds people, probably thousands, who have joined us here tonight and are all smiling, waving, and happy to be here. kind of want to wave back at them. Go for it. We're waving. We're waving. See you in a minute. I feel like they know we're waving. I'm Sergeant First Class Matamoros from El Paso, Texas, assigned to Brook Army Medical Center. And I'm Specialist Isabella Garcia from Hubbard, Texas, assigned to the 717th Military Intelligence Battalion. We are the 2023 Military Ambassadors representing Joint Base San Antonio and the Army. And we're so excited to be a part of this year's 2023 Fiesta Celebration here in San Antonio, Texas. Viva Fiesta! And welcome back to the Anderson River well, we Theater and the Texas second. Cavaliers River Parade. Christus Children's and Christus Santa Rosa Health System float now passing through the Arneson River Theater. The Children's Hospital has been taking care of kids for more than 50 years here in San Antonio. And when we say kids, we mean a lot of them. Five. It means so much to those families to have a resource, especially geared towards children. Anytime a child is sick, you know that's a scary experience for parents, for loved ones, having somebody hold their hand, guide them through that. I know my family has benefited from their work that they do. So an incredible resource for us to have here in San Antonio and for a lot of communities outside of San Antonio to be able to make a short drive here and get that kind of help is crucial. And those nurses and doctors and administrators and all the people working at the hospital are so important and they need to be thanked every single day. You talk about true heroes when we talk about 5,000 children who are taking care of inpatient, 80,000 emergency department visits, 73,000 outpatient visits. Just think of those numbers and how big they are and what these people do to take care of our kids every single day. It's the Order of the Animal, the Order of the Animal, the Queen and Princesses representing the Order of the Animal is 2020. Next up here tonight, uh -oh. how about some sparkles? There we go. And some ladies with some moves, the there Order of the Alamo. And their theme is Voyage to Europe. This is the 2022 Court of Grand Tour. Her Royal Highness Elizabeth Ian Parker Brusenhan Bruce and Princess Marguerite Holton Stewart. So the Order of the Alamo has crowned a queen and a princess to preside over the Royal Fiesta Court every year, except for World War II, World War I, and COVID years. This vote is brought to you by Nelson Pewitt Foundation. I want to see if they'll show us their shoes. You know they will on Friday, the Battle of Flowers. I want to see some shoes. Maybe they will. And just the, the makings of these dresses are incredible. The intricate detail, the thousands of beads and likely hours that go into creating, I mean, more than a dress, really a work of art. Those ladies are excited, aren't they? Can understand why. Beautiful night for that float. A lot of sparkle on it. Coming up next, the city of San Antonio. We've got the mayor and the city council, and their theme is kind of like the... Uh, County Commissioner's team. No, no, no. Uh, simple. This is a fiesta. Simple. Yeah, it's a fiesta. Yeah. And once again, there's our barge cam. That's clear.
I'm, I'm going to say that's close to the um, River Center Mall and the River Center Marriott over in that area of town. Look at that. Look at the people on the bridge. That's what's awesome about wow. this parade is that people can just line the river walk and line a bridge like that and check out this parade. And, you know, we mentioned earlier when we did a live stream before this got started, we love seeing tourists that uh -huh. walk along the river and go, what in the world is going on here? It's a party. I love telling people what we're doing here when we run into folks not from San Antonio who were asking questions about that. But the thing is, they always walk away going, oh, okay, this sounds cool. I get Everybody's it. smiling but after they find out what this is all about. And they say, I'm coming back next year <laughs> to be a well, part of it. Well, come on, y'all. We would welcome the more the merrier to celebrate Fiesta. The mayor and the city council, they're represented on board. And I'm going to take a, a, a moment to remind folks that there is an election coming up and early voting started today. So don't forget to get out there, cast your ballots. Election day is May 6th. I'm just amazed at the light, the light show that we're seeing here. It's absolutely fantastic. They've done a, oh, a great David job. David Sears, uh -huh. I just remember something uh -oh. that I have not done. What and how could do? I not do it? I don't, I don't know. Oh, well. Viva Fiesta, Sears. Thank you. Thank you. You too. You're welcome. I, wait. I'm we, uh, yes, I, I know, and you've stolen a few of my own. Loaded for being bear. Honest. I took one. The kids wanted one. I couldn't give up mine. <laughs> this is what VS is all about, and uh, we want to thank you all for watching this evening and being a part of this and enjoying this with us. It's just an absolutely spectacular night here in downtown San Antonio. This is what they would call a chamber of commerce evening. Oh, yes. It's perfect and then for some. parade. Doesn't get better than this. this, this is, the next up the next quote place. here tonight, remember the Alamo Foundation and their voyage theme tonight is Voyage to the Alamo. A 300-year history of the Alamo, 1.6 million visitors every year, the most visited destination in the state of Texas. And, of course, it is a national historic landmark and part of the UNESCO World Heritage Site in Texas. That is special. Of course, it's one of several missions here in San Antonio. That's and Alamo Plaza here. itself undergoing a huge renovation. Yeah. So talk about those visitors earlier. If people come back and see it in a couple of years, it's going to look quite a bit different. San Antonio German Club. And their theme is... Fiesta. Hey. Some people keeping it simple tonight, but they are having a party aboard this barge for sure. This is an organization that was formed in 1880. It was just a group of single young men, first known as the Ascension Club. The name was changed in 1890 to the San Antonio German Club, following the popularity of the ballroom dance in the era called the German. So why are there all these young ladies on board? Well, the history of this club goes. The German club presents its debutantes during San Antonio's social season. And thank you to Steve and Sons for sponsoring the San Antonio German Club. And all the debutantes on board. Can you hear me one more time here in the hours before they're gone? All right, the traffic does not give. We might want to mention that just just if you're home and you hear other voices, there are a couple of announcers up there on the stage. They are radio, are rodeo, radio, rodeo announcers, and one of them is actually a rodeo clown. I was gonna say, so, yeah, we got a clown. So that's, among us. that's those other voices. They're just entertaining the crowd here in the Anderson River Theater. Keep things going as we entertain you and let all the floats. And all the fun going on entertain you tonight. Sunshine Cottage School for the Deaf Children. The next float coming down the river. Voyage on a Magic Carpet is their float. Sunshine Cottage really helps out so many children who are deaf or hard of hearing. It helps them learn to listen. Helps them learn to speak. 
This is the 75th anniversary. They do so much. Cottage. They do yep. so much and provide just an incredible resource for children who need that extra help and for families. Once again, we're hanging find around a place where they belong. We're hanging around the River Center Mall. We're not shopping, we're waving. No shopping right now. We're enjoying the enjoying the parade at the River Center. But you can see the people just up there. That's is that the island in the center where they are? Is that on the other side? I can't can't really tell. I think that might be on the other side. But look at them just hanging out, just enjoying the parade. Love this camera angle. Love it's to be able to show night to be out. That is for certain. The whole river and all the barges going down the river. Absolutely awesome. Yes, the San Antonio Commission Executive Committee established in 1959. This is the Fiesta San Antonio Commission. All right, next here, we've got the Fiesta San Antonio Commission Executive Committee. You can imagine they do a lot to put together this party with a purpose. I like all their themes. You think about all the different events that yeah. are on the schedule during these 11 or so days and all the coordination, all the locations, because there is literally an event all around town, something for everybody to go to. Once again, Fiesta is their theme. I like how the, the organization is like the leadership of San Antonio kept it kind of simple this year. We got a lot going on. We, we that meeting didn't happen to come up with a new name. And you know that the planning for next year's Fiesta, I'm sure it starts as soon as this one ends. Uh, yeah, and it'd be interesting to see with that, of course, you know, we are talking about the voyages, and they're always on a voyage. Oh, here we go. Where's Adam Kasky? I know he got to be down there doing a chicken dance. What am I missing? David Hurtado. Wh which one am I missing? There's a motion I'm missing for this dance. I... <laughs> Somebody take to the internet and tell us which motion we're missing. I, something, it's a chicken. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> I know. One of the announcers on the stage just said, don't act like you don't know it. Well, well this girl's a... forgotten it, so somebody's going to have to remind me. Up next tonight, we have City Kids Adventure, and their theme is Voyage into the Woods. They provide family environment and give inner city kids an opportunity to extend their horizon beyond their communities and be a part of the world where they live. City Kids Adventure supports today's inner city youth who need an alternative to engage in non-productive lifestyles. Yeah, they promote things like camping, offshore fishing, fishing, archery, horseback riding, kayaking, you guessed it, getting outdoors, being active. That's the focus of this group. Looks like they're going hunting. I can't see any kids, I just see orange caps. That's a big turkey. Just one of the activities they're able to do as being a part of this organization, coming from the inner city, take them out, show them what nature's all about. Outside the uh, outside the city limits. Thank you so much for your investment in our future. Oh, All right, I think we have royalty coming oh, up next. It's one of my favorite parts of the evening: all the glitz and glam. And also all the families that come out. I love seeing all the kids. Look at that. Got her hands full, doesn't she? <laughs> I'm so glad we were able to do this this year. That our, our barge cam that we've affectionately dubbed it here tonight. It's good to give you a perspective of just how long this parade route goes and how many people are... Either they've, they've bought a ticket, they've got a seat, or they're just stopping by to see what this is all about, getting the best view they can, just want to be here. As we mentioned, royalty coming under the bridge now. Fiesta San Antonio Commission royalty. They're uh, listen to this crowd. A lot of beautiful smiling faces, lots of jewels, because this is all about royalty. Yes, 
Congrats to San Antonio Commission Royalty, the Miss Fiesta Royalty float. We have, okay, here's the royalty we have on board. The Reina de la Feria de las Flores, the Women's Club Fiesta Teen Queen, the Charo Queen, the Queen of Soul, and Miss San Antonio. Along with, of course, Miss Fiesta, Jaslyn Grace Ramirez. And Sweet Caroline is in there somewhere. And the artist that came up with the Fiesta poster is also on that float, Kathleen Whittle. So congratulations to her. By the number of small children and teenagers that know who Neil Diamond is. I don't think they know who Neil Diamond is, they just are familiar with his music. Speaking of All right, we're about to have another float come up under the bridge. Opera San Antonio, Voyage to the Far East is their theme. San Antonio, their theme, Voyage to the Far East. And here's what's neat about this group. You know, you hear opera and you might think, oh, well, I, I don't know if I'm into opera. I, I don't go to that it. sort of thing. Well, well, for those who aren't, this group really tries to reach out to every part of the community and say, hey, opera is something that we can all get into. It can be accessible for everybody. I think that's pretty neat. Opera San Antonio produces opera of uncompromising quality and rich in our community, rich and outreach, and social engagement. Opera San Antonio committed to preserving and sharing opera as an art form that is relevant, inspirational, and accessible. All right, the next float under okay. the bridge, SATX. Their theme is Voyage to the Pacific. Their job is to find jobs. Hey, David basically. Sears, while we wait for them to come under, under the bridge, okay, here they come. somebody texted me and you and said what we missed, the move we missed about the chicken dance. You know which one it was? What was it? it was a bit of a, a booty wiggle. Wow. A little hip shake. A little hip shake? That's what we missed. But next time. The hip shake? Next time. Is there a hip? We'll nail it. There's a hip shake in the, in the chicken dance? Yeah, I think it's, is it this? Oh, the clap is at the end. I'm, I'm replaying okay, it in my so. head. Na, 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 I'm glad we could solve that na, here this na, evening. Na, na, na. We've accomplished something. I got the hip thing. You, you know what? what? I think the little kids guys do, us do you guys probably the know dance? the chicken dance. You know the chicken dance? Yeah. Okay, stand right up here. Come here. Come here. Get up here real quick. <laughs> Can you do the chicken dance for us? Yeah. All right, you're nailing it. <laughs> There we go. All right, so now we got a crowd. Now we got the chicken dance going. Yes, All right, guys, thank you. Now we got this and made it a thing. We're gonna take a quick break and brush up on our chicken dance. We'll be right back. The Texas Cavaliers River Parade is powered by Kickapoo Lucky Eagle Casino. Welcome back to the Arneson River Theater for the 78th Texas Cavaliers River Parade. We're waiting on some more barges to come underneath the bridge there. And one thing we have established is that um, you and I do not know how to chicken dance, but there is a guy out in the crowd who I know knows how to floss. That's what it is, the floss. Okay, Adam. 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 We've been told Adam. we're going to have to wait for the floss, but I want you to get it ready. Warm up the floss. We're going to take a look at this barge first, and then we're coming back for some moves. Get, get okay. This is uh, Trinity University, their barge. And hey, they were just recently reclassified as a nationally liberal arts university. So congratulations to them. The Joe Panther Band is on board, cranking out the hits. They got friends in low places. So places.
friends in low places. He's got friends in high places. <laughs> he's way up and there. And I, I hope that he could hear us. I'm using this thing like a pointer. I don't know who gave this to me, uh, but be careful I'm sure with it was that. a good idea. Adam Kasky, can you show us a floss? Some flossing moves. You know what I love? All the lights this year. That's one thing that's been stepped. Oh, man, they want me to floss. All right, <laughs> let's do it. It's that time. Like a boss. Yes. <laughs> Ten. Wow. Ten. Wow. Oh. And for me. That's it? Come on. That was like a 10.5. It's, it's the floss face. I love our I vantage so point much. from up here on the bridge. And one thing that has really changed over the past couple of years is all the lights in the crowd. It really makes a difference, especially when the sun goes down, the lights come on, and everybody has a party. Back to you. That is the flossing, Adam Kasky, and introducing a float. Thank you, Adam. Mitchell Chank Foundation, Voyage to the Universe. Look at that rocket on that thing. Now, the story behind the Mitchell Chank Foundation is certainly nothing to do with a celebration. It's actually a tragedy. Three-year-old Mitchell Chang passed away. He drowned at his swim school several years ago. I know, David, you, we covered this at KSAT, and his family has really been on a mission, creating this foundation, working with lawmakers to try to make policies that could help prevent something like that from happening again. So good to see them out here as part of this celebration as they continue their hard work. San Antonio Youth Orchestra String Quartet was the band on that float. As you take another look at Marge Kim, as we get back to in front of the Arneson River Theater stage, the Ark of San Antonio Voyage to Early America. So the ARC works with children and adults that have intellectual and developmental disabilities, supporting their families who care for them, providing them resources and services that they so need. Seeing some great decorations on these float with the canoe there, and we've seen the uh, rockets, and we've seen astronaut suits, and Really, some interesting, uh, some interesting decorations on some of these themed floats. I always think tonight. it's neat how these different groups take the theme and they have their own spin on it to see what they come up with that goes along with the theme. Here we go. It is neat. A Adam's right. It is neat to see all the lights in the crowd. Make a Monday feel like a Saturday. Oh. oh, hey. Where do you go wrong with the beach? Anybody got some uh, Saturday Night Fever style moves? If you do, get up in your living room if that's where you're watching it with us. Bust a move. Dance like no one's watching. We're not. We promise. So this group is representing Methodist Healthcare, another one of the healthcare resources that we have in San Antonio. Believe it or not, they are the second largest employer here in San Antonio. 11,000 individuals, 2,700 physicians, and they all practice different specialties. It is pretty amazing that we had so many different healthcare options in San Antonio. So many hospitals that people can utilize right. and those resources available. Slow things up here. The are pushing through. It's time for the theme of Voyage to Paradise. Next up. <laughs> Thank you. Girls Inc. Voyage Girls to Paradise. Girls Inc. So Girls Inc. I actually had the pleasure of hosting their luncheon earlier this year. They do so much to empower young girls and really make them, the goal is to help them become strong and bold young women. And I'm betting there are some along the Riverwalk tonight that we are seeing through this barge cam. 
Wow. I tell you what, there are some people pretty excited, aren't they? squealing and excited for Girls Inc. right behind us. Their voyage to paradise, that's the theme of their barge tonight. Girls Inc. San Antonio puts mission <laughs> That's what it's all about, the excitement. Let it all go. They have a lot of programs for young girls. Some focus on STEM, some focus on body image or college and career readiness, things after school or on weekends, during school breaks, to really help these girls carve out a path in their futures and connect girls with each other. Community is important. This is the oh, Battle of Flowers. Ladies. Oh, yeah. Battle of Flowers Association float voyage to the Silk Road. These are women who take care of and make sure that the Battle of Flowers parade is one of the best parades you will ever witness if you go there on this Friday. It's, yeah, it's coming up on Friday. And hey, we have a KSAT Insider Party for Battle of Flowers. If you want to come hang out with us, get some tacos, have a seat in the grandstands. Bathroom. Bathroom, yes. I didn't know a bathroom was that Less important at a parade until we started. It absolutely is. You bet. So go to KSAT.com. Check that out. If you'd like to get a ticket, we'll and be it's out there. Too. I think we've got a few left. So check it out. Mm -hmm. Go to our website. We have so much more coming your way tonight. And what are we, about halfway through this parade? And I tell you, it feels oh, are we halfway like through? such an Hold on. Hold on. We're halfway through. <laughs> we got to, like, freshen up, don't we? There we go. Perfect. The Adam Kasky's fresh. Where's oh, Adam Kasky? we got Kasky? a couple ladies behind us. There we go. There you go. Where's Adam? <laughs> Adam Kasky's fresh. Hey, you know, I love the uh, Fiesta hair. You too, David Sears. You Thank too. You. Thank but you But the Fiesta David hair, it just the confetti clings so perfectly. Yes, it does. It will be here for days. For days. You need the uh, shop vac when you get home. And then the air compressor. See, I, I mean, I don't have much hair left, so the Cascarona is just to hide all the bald spots, right? Anyway. <laughs> Want to take you down into the party. We're going to dance our way through. It's a party, baby. Party with the purpose. I got to contain myself a little bit since we are live. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Moving our way down the party. Sorry about Hip, hip, hip bump, hip bump, hip bump. <laughs> I want you at home to feel like you're here in the party with us. Dancing our way through, waving our lights, cheering on Viva! Fiesta! <laughs> no offense, but I think I have the funnest part of the parade. Back to you. I don't, I don't know. I think we're having a pretty good time up here. Yeah, no I'm offense, having a good time watching no you. No offense taken. Yeah, so oh, here hey, we go. Oh, hey, look here. We got some more royalty. You know who this is based on the uniform there. El Rey Feo, the 74th. Larry Kurt. See, there's a the difference between King Antonio and El Rey Feo and all the other ones. Because he's the 74th, so it's L-X-X-I-V. Or if it's just 100, it's just a C. You know, so I'm, I, that's I'm what glad I've learned today. that you and I got, we got the simple Roman numeral. It, it seems to mean a lot to you, so I'm happy <laughs> well, that, that that worked out for us. I don't know, it's just you know, one of those things. <laughs> I hear ya. So, I'd, you. Know. I'd be the last to tell you I know my Roman numeral. Wait till one of your kids learns Roman numerals in school and they come home and go, Mom, help me with my Roman numerals. And, and you Mom go, goes, hold uh, on, hold on, let me Google. Let me, wow. <laughs> What's great about Ray Feo? He's out there raising money. How about $250,000 every year? All goes to college scholarships for area students and they've raised over $13 million since they started this organization. So that's pretty special right there. And the history of Ray Feo is pretty neat too. It all goes back to crowning someone who was the people's king, somebody who represented the people. So that's sort of the, the roots of the history of El Rey Feo. 
Looks like Greg Bale might have I don't know what 13 million looks like in Roman numerals, but it's a lot of numbers, <laughs> too, a lot of letters right there. Hold so on, that's hold awesome. on, let me Google. Google. <laughs> And they are having some fun. Ray Fail has more fun than, you know, most people. And then all his They all look court. like they're having a blast. Yeah. The lights are flashing all over the place. This is hopping. This is, this is, this is kicking tonight. National Pan. Hellenic. Pan Hellenic Council. Thank you. You're welcome. So, uh, I'm still these Googling 13 million. No, I knew this one. The National Panhellenic Council, these sororities are part of the Divine Nine. Founded more than 100 years ago on board, we have Sigma Gamma Rho, Alpha Kappa Alpha, Delta Sigma Theta, and Zeta Phi Beta sororities. These are historically African-American collegiate-based organizations focused on sisterhood, scholarship, and community service. That's a lot of, that's a lot of people internationally. 800,000 belong to this organization. And this band we're listening to, wow. the tailpipes. Gardenia Fine Arts Club. Is that, oh, look at the helicopter. That's pretty cool. I love their uniforms yeah. all lit up. There you go. There's the queen. Liv Humphreys. This organization has been around a while, too, since 1960. And they've been uh, bringing floats down the river with folks on them since the river parade started. So there you go. Up there since their participation started back in 1960. I think it's a cool idea, especially for the floats that are later on in the parade, to incorporate lights in the costumes and in the uniforms. That's pretty neat. Fiesta Flambeau Parade Association, Voyage Across the Galaxy. Of course, a beautiful night parade that is coming your way this Saturday, and we'll bring it to you live right here on KSAT 12. The largest night parade in the country. You know, this one is so unique, the river parade. Yes. Because, of course, it's on a river, on the San Antonio River. Fiesta Flambeau, certainly unique in its own right. I think it is such a cool atmosphere. It's really neat. And uh, it's a pretty cool theme. Is that, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> that looks like, see, he's got a lightsaber. You a Star Wars buff? Mm, not much. Not much? Not much. My husband is, so. So who are these people? Your husband um, would know them all then. The, uh, I think the one in the back, well, of course, we've got Obi-Wan, yeah. Luke Skywalker. Is that the Mandalorian? I, I think. You're asking the wrong guy. Once again, I'm sure the internet will come through for me <laughs> and let me know whether I got that right or wrong. I just know they had lightsabers to add to the ambiance of the evening. Now we got now see that this is what we know. <laughs> this is that yeah, chicken this thing is was, a, an uncomplicated you know, dance. This one we got. This one we got. There's another uh, shot at all the crowd lining the river, enjoying the Texas Cavaliers River Parade tonight. <laughs> it's so fun to see these people. This just gives you an idea of how far this river parade goes. Yes. And how many people line the river to enjoy this thing. It's not just here at the Artisan River Theater. It's all the way up and down the river. The University of the Incarnate Word, voyage to the Super Bowl. Oh, hey, this is a, this is a voyage David Sears can get behind. You can go to the Super Bowl anytime. There we go. We have, of course, members of the UIW football team. They had a historic playoff run this year. Ended in the national semifinal, semifinals of the NCAA playoffs. Cheerleaders on board as well. Student leaders. They had a great season. Special. I'd like to go to the Super Bowl. I'm sure there's some uh, some folks around here who would like uh, one of their local teams to go to the Super Bowl. Like, I don't know, maybe the Cowboys or something. <laughs> 
but you know, right now it's just uh, making the playoffs and enjoying your season at the Incarnate Word. Oh, here we go. I think they've decided to bust out all the dance tunes. Kind of keep the crowd going. Asking everybody to get funky. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Oh. It's been a beautiful night here. I mean, we couldn't have asked for better weather. I think that's got the crowd going. We've seen from our barge cam, there's still a big crowd out there all along the river. And we've got plenty more parade Just make sure and confetti. Everything's good. Oh, I stuffed a big piece of it. I'm sorry. Coming your way. All right, you'll be all right. I've done enough parades with you to be all right with uh -huh. a lot of confetti. <laughs> It's a party. All right, we got another. Oh, speaking of purple, do we have another purple Fiesta egg? Fiesta Parade, just, or Fiesta uh, Float, this rather. Is, this is close enough to purple. Purple Up USA. Ah, we like this float because it's the military children of San Antonio. They celebrate Military Child Day every day. They share in resources that support those kids. And the band is Military Children of San Antonio. And I know this is always a float you talk about every year. You yourself were a military child. I grew up all over the world, literally. My dad was an Air Force pilot. Retired as a colonel here in San Antonio, but I could go through the list real quick if you wanted me to. <laughs> Let me see if I can remember. Born in Sacramento, London, England, Colorado Springs, Dallas, Texas, Belleville, Illinois, Charleston, South Carolina, Torrejon, Spain, and Ramstein, Germany, and Texas Tech. Wow. Love it. And then San Antonio, I've been here ever since. That's incredible. That's a lot of that's a lot of moving around. That's amazing it? though. But that's so you know yeah. what a group like this means to military families. And you know that that's a lot of a lot of times we forget what it's like to be kids of members of the military who have to go away to protect their country in foreign lands and they're they're away from their kids and they're away from their their families for six months a year they come home they go back because they feel like they need to do that to to protect us to give us our freedom and and yet it's it's the kids and the families who who are just as much uh, a part of that as the as the person serving so it's it's absolutely amazing and uh, they should be they should be always applauded and rewarded and thought of and prayed for yeah the whole family makes a sacrifice to serve up next the rotary club of san antonio they're ready for space they, well because their voyage is to other worlds wow mars maybe one day what are you thinking one day one day because we're going to the moon again, right? It feels right? like we're a step closer all the time. Yeah, we're going to the moon again in a couple of years. So Rotary Club of San Antonio dates back to 1912. They work to strengthen the community by joining together as leaders to exchange ideas, create relationships, and positive lasting change. I know this may sound strange, but you might know this band. Well, maybe this strange, because they're Brian Strange and the Strange Brothers. <laughs> You get the theme, though. We're doing a lot of coverage of floats that have a lot to do with kids in and around San Antonio. And, of course, that's what the Cavaliers are really all about. We mentioned it before. They take care of 80 charities here in San Antonio, supporting 80 of them with the money that they raise year in and year out. Millions and millions of dollars. And most of those charities are charities that help support children of San Antonio and South Texas. Okay, this is one that if it were a hot and steamy night out here, we couldn't even imagine. We are taking a voyage to the North Pole with this next group, Special Reach. See, Santa wants to be a part of Fiesta. Of course. The dude, like, he's like hanging out in North Pole all the time. He's like, I gotta go party. I'm go I know where I'm going. Well, Santa welcome, Antonio. Santa. We are glad to have you. We'll see you in eight months. <laughs> This is uh, this is another one of those uh, support children organizations. They have summer enrichment programs, other programs during the school year. Children with special needs can experience the fun 
of these organizations all year round. They're carefully designed to ensure that every child has a positive experience and that their caregivers receive well-deserved respite. They have party nights, unique twist to traditional parents' night out. Fantastic. All right, next up, the Conservation Society of San Antonio. Their theme is Voyage to Mars. Oh, there we go. Now we're going to Mars. However, uh -oh. this is the group behind NIOSA. You go to NIOSA, it's almost like going to Mars sometimes. <laughs> it could be a trip to Mars or something. It's a voyage. It's certainly <laughs> it's a, a voyage. It's a voyage. <laughs> so these ladies are in charge of hanging the old rain rock and putting on a party that this city loves Ooh. so much. And you can call it whatever you want, but it is one heck of a party. It lasts like four nights. Well, actually, it probably lasts longer for some people. <laughs> <laughs> Just four nights. They started this thing back in 1924. So, you know, there's been a lot of parties since then. Now, their current project, because, of course, this is a party with a purpose. Every uh -huh. event raises money. Their current project is advocating for the preservation and the repurposing of the Woolworth, Crockett, and Palace buildings into the Alamo Plaza plant that's that we talked cool. about earlier. Yeah, that's going to be cool. You ever been to a Woolworth? I have not, but I have heard so many incredible stories of people who went there, experiences people had it is a it's a place full of history i don't i don't think they exist anymore no. do they around the country like they used to but there like, are like this one does <laughs> this one has incredible stories here in san antonio it's a great thing that they're trying to preserve some of these uh, historic places in and around the alamo this is going to make it that much better for people to come in and visit and see all this historic the yeah. monuments the alamo and then everything that goes around it it's going to be a great uh, so Great visit. I, you know, I I hate to see the empty seats along uh -oh. the river walk, but my hope is that a lot of these people who have come out to watch tonight, they are perhaps at a restaurant there it might be. or getting some food, getting something to drink, enjoying go. the night. But we're glad for the folks that are out here. They're up on the rail up there. That's where they are. Yes. There's a bunch of people up and there. there. I mean, there are so many restaurants, so many businesses along the river walk where people make reservations to have dinner or what have you and enjoy the river parade from there. Texas A&M University, San Antonio, Voyage to the Old West. This is a growing university. This thing keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Seems like every year they're adding to Texas A&M. And very, get very popular too. A lot of people will come here to Texas A&M, San Antonio. From outside the city even. Otherwise known as Tamusa. Up next, we have Beethoven Manicor. This is always a fun group. They are taking a voyage across the ocean tonight. Their group is filled with the sounds of men's voices singing seafaring songs and other German folk tunes. This is a choir founded in San Antonio in 1867. It's the oldest German singing society west of the Mississippi. Let's listen in. You notice the guy singing with, singing with his beer stein. <laughs> of course, Beethoven Manicor. The band performs during Fiesta, Oktoberfest, there you go, and monthly garden concerts. Their repertoire includes dozens of big classic band, big band, and swing tunes. At the Beethoven Manicor Hall, And again, I, I hate to influence the judges, but if you all right, as they uh, move on down the river, we're going to take a quick break, and we will be back. You are watching the Texas Cavaliers River Parade live right here on KSAT 12. I'm Clyde Johnson IV, King Antonio the 100. And you're watching Fiesta 2023 on KSAT 12. 
I'm Texarm Velasquez from Lorain, Ohio, currently assigned to the 688 Cyber Wing on Lackland Air Force Base, Texas. I'm Staff Sergeant Serrano from San Antonio, Texas, and I'm assigned to the 802nd Security Forces Squadron at Lackland Air Force Base. We are the 2023 Military Ambassadors representing Joint Base San Antonio and the United States Air Force. We're excited to see everybody at the upcoming events, ready to eat some chicken on the stick. Viva Fiesta. Chicken on a stick, Who did I hear that? not ready for some chicken on a stick? Woohoo! Man, first tee golf of San Antonio, voyage to prehistory. And they are jumping around. Yeah, not being very quiet. <laughs> no, we heard the onstage announcers saying that they could see this float literally rocking as it came rolling down the river. This is one of those organizations that does a lot for kids in golf, introduces yes. a lot of inner city kids to golf, introduces kids that have never even seen golf before. So we have Adam Kasky. He's got a pretty cool view of this barge. He? Hey, Adam. All right. Oh, great view. I'm bouncing around. I'm moving around place to place, view to view. I get to see the barges coming from down there and the crowds outside of the Arneson getting into it, all energetic. And now we weaseled our way on stage. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> We're gonna come over here and talk to some judges, and we all recognize this man right here. Here, come around, Luis. All right, oh, cover your sheet. Cover your sheet. Don't look. Don't look. Have cover your sheet. We're on television here. I know. <laughs> all right. So, Mr. David Elder, if this parade were a meal, what would you compare it to? Uh, this would be like uh, a filet mignon. This would be the main entree of, of a divine meal. This is like an eight course meal. We're mainly, we're just on like number seven of the eight course. I'm still waiting for dessert. Oh, dessert, baby. <laughs> okay, what has really stood out so far? Ray Theo. Oh, you think, yeah. yeah. They, main, I mean, they came out with fire. They, they had the fireball song. I think so far, they're just a standout for me right now. They had everything on the punch list so far. Yes. Right? Love it. Are you having a good time? Huh? Oh, fantastic. I would say, meteorologically speaking, I don't know if I said it correctly, it is a fantastic evening. We're so lucky. I even saw a few ladies put little covers on and a coat because, yeah, so like that's unheard of, right? Yeah, yeah. I love it. All right, well, thanks for everything. Yes. Let's give it up to our judges here. And we're going to send it back to you upstairs. All right. Thank you, Adam. And thank you, David Elder. You just saw the Clarity Child Guidance Center, their theme voyage to Atlantis. I thought that was pretty good float right yeah, there. Yeah, I saw a shark. I saw Ursula the Sea Witch. I saw Bubbles. a mermaid on board. That was pretty cool. That was nice. I hope David Elder was paying attention so well, that he could score that one accurately. I don't know. He started talking about steak and... <laughs> Eight course meals. And, you know, his mind's always on food. Will Smith Zoo School. Oh, this is a cool thing. The Zoo School. This is an awesome thing that we have here in our city. I'm surprised that their their theme would be voids on a safari. <laughs> I don't know. It seems kind of fitting. I think it does. What a great place to go. The zoo and this zoo school is, is they've only had it a few years, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. But it's, uh, they like to uh, introduce kids to all these different animals and show them the value of these animals, and what they mean to the planet, what they mean to us. The zoo itself is a favorite destination of my family. I'm pretty sure my eldest son could guide tours if anyone ever comes with us. He's in charge. He likes he that. He knows huh? where to go. Does he like the giraffe? Oh, of course. Or the long necky, as they like to say. His his favorite is the hippos. The hippo. Oh, we're really? big. We're big hippo people in my house. We love the hippos. You ever seen a hippo eat a watermelon? I have. You know, the zoo does so much social media, and they always post Timothy, of course, of zoo fame, the hippo, chomping on a watermelon, a cantaloupe. It's crazy. Oh, he's getting his, you know, fruit. Of course. Eating healthy. Alamo College's district, voyage to medieval time. Really like Some of these have really gone way out to have the themes and make their float and the people represent that theme and this one is a this one is another one that's, that's pretty good right there they are the largest provider you probably didn't know that. i didn't know this provider of higher education in south texas more than sixty-eight thousand students taking credit workforce and continuing education courses 
annually. Alamo College's district. You go there and uh, get a two-year degree and then get a job or go on to four-year college. And this is pretty neat. They have the Alamo Promise program and it provides tuition-free college to el eligible seniors at all public Bear County independent school districts and their high schools. That is a huge opportunity for so many kids to take advantage of. We don't bring this, much, bring this up much, but their colleges, their college kids, so they got to be sponsored by a pizza cup. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Well, they're such loyal customers, yeah, I would imagine. If you remember college, how much pizza did you have? Mortgage Wonderland, Voyage of Courageous Exploration. That's a pretty good theme for Mortgage Wonderland. That kind that of sums is. it up, doesn't it? I know I've said this before already tonight, but Morgan's Wonderland is yet another example of something awesome we just have here in San Antonio. You might know it for it being a theme park, um, a, a place for people of all abilities. That's what they like to say. It's not just for people who have, um, you know, a physical disability, but it's a place for everyone of all abilities to come. They have what they call the Mac which is the multi-assistance center that they opened about six months ago that provides kind of a one-stop shop for families who have children with special needs, a place for them to get medical visits, hooked up with resources, all the things they would need in one location. Always amazed at how they got engineers to figure out a way to put rides together so they could get wheelchairs on them and these kids could have just as much fun as everybody else and enjoy it all, and then they built the water park. Yeah, it's Morgan's a, Inspiration Island. Yeah, it's just an incredible facility out there. This Children is the, and Child Advocates of San Antonio, CASA, as you probably know them, Voyage Through Time. So this is all about getting court-appointed volunteer advocates to uh, help out and support the uh, kids and the youth who have experienced some abuse or neglect. So just another organization that does great work with kids here in San Antonio and South Texas. Yeah, and that's what's represented here tonight, right? Each one of these floats, while we do have some groups that are all about royalty and about some of the festivities around this Party with a Purpose, there's so many nonprofit organizations that a lot of that royalty is affiliated with and that they do a lot of things to raise money for those groups. But this is a chance to highlight these nonprofits, these educational groups that we have, and also a chance for David Sears to crack more. <laughs> I think I'm out. Are there. you really? You're happy. Oh, the day <laughs> has come. <laughs> well, He's I know out. there's some over there that I've been eyeballing, so you know. No, you, no, these are mine. I don't know. These Mike are mine, and you Mike. know what? I have been told this one in particular. This is the teeny tiny confetti. Oh. This is the stuff that sticks. Oh. And I'm going to make it stick to David's ears. Okay. <laughs> that was practically dust. You did there. Yeah, there was. Oh, look, oh, I've, I've been awarded one, oh, two Part more. of our production team, David Hurtado, providing him more ammunition. Thank you. Thanks, Dave. What Appreciate you, that. I thought we were. Are we, we not? We no? Still, Apparently not. We still have a few floats left. <laughs> so, matter of fact, we've got one more float coming through All right. right now. This is the UT Health San Antonio float. We've been talking about how this is like a medical center of Texas. This place, all these medical facilities that we have in this town and all these specialized doctors, and nurses, and all the administrative people. Now, this is just, if you, need, if you need some help, you come to San Antonio because we got it for you. One way or another. 850 faculty positions at UT Health San Antonio. 850. Learn something there. Yeah, you know, all throughout the pandemic, we leaned on them oh. so much for their experts to help us guide through each stage of that, each variant. What do we need to be doing? How do we need to be protecting ourselves? So well, we're you had a uh, resource. You had doctors from there on just about uh, every week talking about it. Every and, Thursday, we yeah. had the one and only Dr. Ruth Bergren on to talk us, an infectious disease specialist, to talk us through that. Here's another. Uh, here's another great organization that helps kids. Zapatos, boys across America. It's it, it, one theme: shoes. We talk about their efforts uh, in partnership with the San Antonio Police Department to collect shoes for children 
who need it. It's such a simple thing. It's shoes. And a lot of people may take that for granted, but it's a, it's an easy way to donate. They do that every year. So look for it next time it comes up. You can donate a pair of shoes to any SAPD substation to help make a difference during that drive. And as simple as it sounds, there are kids out there that get excited about a brand new pair of tennis shoes that Absolutely. they can wear to school. United Way here with us. Voyage to the Middle East is their theme. They've been in Bear County for 83 years. And their goal is to invest in programs that drive meaningful, lasting change. 400 local companies, 80 nonprofits, thousands of volunteers. They help to empower the children of our community. All right, here we go. And here we go with the University of Texas. I say it here, it comes out there. See? UTSA. So UTSA, UTSA, UTSA. You know, we talked about Birds up. Uh, the UIW Cardinals, their football uh -huh. team having an incredible season. How awesome has it been to watch the UTSA program grow? A couple of years winning the conference. Yeah. Bowl games. Big time university football program. Big time university academic program. UTSA now a tier one research university. It got that designation, which means that it is aligned to the top 4% of research institutions in the country. Think about that. Top 4% of research institutions. That university has come a long, long way, both on the field and in the classroom. And it's growing by leaps and bounds physically as well. I mean, you go out to the main campus off of 1604, far northwest side. They've got a new campus downtown, all dedicated to all things IT and cybersecurity. It is pretty cool to watch it grow. All right, San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo. Are you sure? Are you sure I this is so. the Rodeo Flow? I think so. <laughs> They're roping the river parade right there. Voyage to the New West. Of course, every February, the San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo takes place here in San Antonio at the AT&T Center. That whole John Harry Freeman Coliseum complex over there. They All estimate blast. one and a half million people enter those fairgrounds every single year. And like other major organizations and other major events, so much money goes to scholarships for kids in San Antonio and South Texas. They raise millions and millions and millions of dollars for these kids and you know they expanded they used to be that uh, they kind of had a limitation on it it was it would kids that wanted to do agriculture and, and study animal science and things like that and veterinarians and now it's just anything now it's they've expanded uh, to they just want to help kids get to college and, and get an education and get out and get a real job you're always a big part of our rodeo coverage every year and the opportunities i've had to go out and talk to these kids who are raising pigs and sheep and steers and what have you. I mean, it's so it, it's so neat and different, right, for for us, but it means so much to these kids. And it is their passion. It yeah. is what they have put countless hours in, and they're just, they have so much pride in that, which I love. And that's the thing. They put so many hours in it, and they have to be so dedicated, and it's not an easy thing to do for these kids to go out there. Every morning, they got to feed and take care of their animals, do it again in the afternoon. So it's it's awesome. SJRC Texas, Voyage to the Deep. This is a group that works with a lot of foster families in our area, cares for children and their families who've been affected by trauma, abuse, and neglect. Their mission is to offer healing and hope for these families. They care for over 800 children in the foster care system in 27 different counties in Bear and surrounding counties. They, they take care of these kids and, and hats off to them because that's a, that's a great job that they're doing helping it's, these It is these a tremendous job to tackle and it's also a tremendous need in our community. The Pan American League, voyage to the South Pole. Okay, so we did North Pole. Yeah. Now we're headed south. I wonder if it's cold down there. I'm going to go out on a limb and say yes. <laughs> okay, this is awesome. Check out these hats. 
Houston, it's it's snow. South Pole, snow. I like the take on it though. That's what I think yeah. is really neat. That's a, is that a polar bear? Looks like a polar bear. The Pan American League is a civic-minded women's organization. Been around since 1947. All right, I believe we have one more float, I believe. I'm going to go out on a limb. And don't go anywhere, though, because there is a finale. Don't forget about the finale. Okay. That's right. We're not done. All right. I hope that this has been an opportunity for you to enjoy such a fiesta, a truly unique San Antonio tradition from the comfort of your own home, from wherever you happen to be, because of course you can take us with us or take us with you wherever you go. And this has been, and it is every year, an opportunity for us to bring it straight to you, which I know, David, I know you think is a true joy. We love doing this. We love you tuning in to watch it. And this is a group we're going to have to listen to. Yep. Oh, I love it. Let's take a listen here to the Fox Tech High School Mariachi Band. Oh! That's uh, that's the was finale that, I was, was talking it? about. Was that, was, was that the one? Boom! That'll put an end on that show right there. On behalf of everyone with KSAT, on behalf of everyone with the Cavaliers, my partner... Thank you all so much for joining us for this 78th Texas Cavaliers River Parade. We saw some fantastic floats going down the river. David Elder, one of the judges, he's got his work cut out Ooh, for him tonight. Yeah, that's going to be that's going to be tough. Yeah, because a lot of the themes were represented on that float with all their costumes and their decorations and everything. So Thank you all so much for luck. being here with us good tonight. Luck. We hope this has been a party for you at home or wherever you are watching. I'm Myra Arthur along with David Sears. Thanks for joining us for this fantastic river parade. There is so much more fiesta to come. We can't wait to see you maybe out at one of our insider events or at the rest of the festivities as a city parties with a purpose. Good night. Good night.